Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another Lore of League of Legends video. Continuing on with yesterday's video, I've got another champion for you that has again been heavily requested for quite some time. Without further ado, I present to you the Lore of Needly, the Bestial Huntress. Enjoy. <laughs> The Kamungu jungle lies on the southern shores of Valoran. It's a wild area where nature is its only sovereign, as it had been for centuries before. The lands are dangerous for anyone visiting them, especially if they're stupid enough to enter the deepest parts of the forest known only as the plague jungles. Many humans, however, do visit Kamungu. Tales of mass treasures hidden within ancient ruins of past civilizations are a great lure for adventurers and archaeologists from around the entire continent. Some of them return home, with or without treasure. It all depends on their luck. Others, however, never return home, losing their lives in search for treasure while their corpses later serve as a warning for others. Just like many did before them, Needley's parents entered the jungle seeking the treasure hidden within. But unlike other explorers, they never understood the risk that was connected to it. They felt bold, brave and safe in the jungle, even to the point where they brought their daughter along with them on the expedition. They were convinced that she would be perfectly safe, which was perhaps the only thing that they had been right about. The first few days of the expedition seemed to be going just as planned. Having explored the most accessible parts of the jungle, they soon realised that they were completely lost. They tried to find their way back out of the jungle, but no matter which way they turned and walked, they were just getting deeper and deeper into the forest. Their trail was nowhere to be found and markings that they'd left on trees behind them were disappearing. Days had passed and as the time had gone, Needley's parents were getting weaker. They couldn't walk for longer than a few hours and with their muscles straining with every step in pain, they had to look for shelter to survive the long nights, which was when the wild animals came out to hunt. Soon enough their pain and weakness had been followed by unknown fever that ultimately had been their demise. The only person in the expedition that seemed unaffected by the strange disease was Needley herself. The young girl was forced to watch her parents suffer, but she was unaffected by any of the symptoms that her parents had shown. She somehow seemed resistant to the magic of Kamungu, and when the animals had been drawn to the dead corpses of her parents, Needley had run even deeper into the forest. As improbable as it was for a young girl, she managed to survive on her own. She ate what she could find and hid in small caves to survive the night. She meant no harm to the animals, she only wanted to survive and return home. In her innocence and naivety, Needley had somehow appealed to the wild beasts of the jungle. They weren't considering her to be a threat, but rather a pet of some sorts. She was taken in by a family of cougars where she learned to adapt to her surroundings. Being brought up by the cougars, she herself soon started behaving like a cat, walking around on four legs and hunting with her teeth and claws. The first few months were difficult for her as her nails were far from cat's claws and did little harm to most animals. But this all changed as time passed and Needley matured. At first she'd been forced to use a makeshift spear for hunting, otherwise she would have starved to death. But after a few months she noticed that her teeth had grown larger, barely fitting inside her mouth, and that her nails had turned into real claws. From there, it wasn't long until fur started growing onto her body to protect her from the cold of the winter months. Somehow, the girl had merged with the mysterious raw magic of the jungle. It had accepted Needley as one of its own, and granted her powers that she'd never had before. She's evolved, and was now both a cougar, like the beast that had brought her up, and a human, as she'd been all her life. Using the magic that had been gifted to her, Needley spent the time learning to control it, and eventually she would be able to switch between two forms at will. 
when she needed to hunt or run from the jungle, she'd become a cougar. But when needing to climb a tree or attack someone from a distance, she returned to her human form. She would have probably spent the rest of her days with her cougar family, perhaps even starting her own. But she came to understand that she couldn't do that any longer when she stumbled across the remains of a Noxian woodcutting expedition. They came to her home and tried to ruin it for their own benefit. This would not stand with her and so she came to realise she needed to join the civilised world and make sure that no one would ever try to destroy the Kamungu jungle again. She was soon pointed towards the League of Legends and joined it as a champion. A champion of Kamungu and every wild beast that lurks within it. And that's all I've got for you this time around. Let me know what you thought of the video by hitting the like button and leaving your feedback in the comments section below. There's only about 12 champions left to cover now, so that leaves us with a couple of weeks to get things rounded off until the next champion's released. It also means I've got to start working on what the hell I'm going to do next. Don't forget that if you want to check if your favourite's been done already, you can click the annotation at the top of the screen that will take you to the playlist of all the previously covered champions. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, I'll see you next time.